Welcome back to the Vlanalog. Today we have a special guest, my husband Todd Thomas, from what? I have no idea anymore. I vlog too. We'll put it down in the comment section, or in the description section. We'll do that. So today we're going to discuss the last comic standing. It was the finale last night and we both watched it separately because he decided to pass out on our floor instead of watching it with me yesterday. But uh, he's, he's watched it today while I was working and <laughs> now we're going to discuss. I'm, I'm coming off like an all-star <laughs> in this video. Right. So, at least I didn't kick the screen. I did, I know. Okay. So, what were your thoughts? Yeah, in watching it. How do you cross your legs like that? I don't know. My thoughts on watching it were as I'm going to steal from you, and no, that wasn't from you. It might have been from me. I did talk briefly about it this morning. My thought was who are these people? That's what I was going to say, and then I couldn't remember if I actually talked to you. Yeah. Because I was still passed out this morning. Right. My thought was, who are these people? Yeah. I don't know what it was, but something about last year, it made it seem as though we got to know the people a little bit more. And it, I don't it, know if there were more episodes. There must have been more episodes. But it was just like, boom, 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 here's your winner. And America was more involved last year. Like, you could I, I wouldn't even put that many booms. It was more like, boom, 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 here's your winner. Or boom, boom. Well, because they had the three initial invitationals, I gave them extra booms. Oh, okay. You do like your booms. I do. But, yeah, so, I, I felt like I didn't know them. Yeah. And that with the longer series last year, like, I really like Joe Mackey and Me Rod too. Man. Because I'm not a sophisticated palate. And what? I think that we are sophisticated by liking those two. Okay. So we're very sophisticated, and we are not watching um, generic comics on NBC. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> we are watching generic comics. Well, I don't know that they're generic. I, I don't really know. It's, it's, I mean, it's not America's Got Talent level of dreck. Although on America's Got Talent, apparently some comedian that's on there is an alumni or alumnus from University of Buffalo, where we both went know. to law school. I don't know who it is, and I, I haven't yeah. really watched, and all I hear about is a regurgitator. Because but... you're not 75. Well. Which is know. the core audience for that show. Yeah, I don't know. So. Well. So, felt too short. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I was going to say, is last year we got to see more of an ebb and flow in the development of yeah. their routines. Um, so if someone had an off night, you still knew who they were, and there was kind of a redemption factor mm -hmm. to it. This was just real quick and yeah, shallow. Yeah, I felt like they didn't want us to really get involved at all, because last year, even after someone was voted or kicked off. I don't remember if America voted them off or if the judges did, but America did get to vote for between the two, you know, like the one right, from the week the before. Online yeah. Competition. Yeah. So I don't know. I wasn't as happy with it this year as I was last year. Um but, you know, I think all things considered, the winner is the one who based on last night's performances should have won. I think he was the best of the five. Um Interesting style for the one guy who was more of an audience kind of person. The Ian Sugg? Set Bragg? What? See, now, now I need my cheat sheet. I, I don't remember what his name was. The but big guy. Yeah. <laughs> but the, big, the big Canadian. He, he pulled in from the audience. And when I go to a show, I typically like that kind of thing. I know you don't really care for that. I think it's funny when it's in a more intimate setting, but the way that it was um, a special appearance by Yellow Boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't think it really worked in the type of setting that they were in um, for, for this contest. I mean, it worked far enough for him to get that far, I guess, but mm -hmm. um, it was definitely not his strongest last night. No, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't really, and I did like Michael Palas Palas Palacek Palacek. I'm not exactly sure how he says his Palachek. name. Palacek. 
but he came to Jamestown during our one of our comedy festivals, and I really liked him then, and he did reuse some of the material, some of it was very <laughs> familiar to me, but um, I liked him, and I was kind of rooting for him from the start, just because it's like, oh, I know him, but based on last night's last night's performances, I think definitely the, the guy who won yeah, should have won. Clayton English. Yes, Clayton English. I, I thought Clayton did well. I was kind of, it's really sad to say because it was only like 12 minutes total of actual routine, but I was kind of stand up out by the time he was on. And So I, I faded on listening to Clayton as much as I did some of the earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, now, the audience, and I don't know how that works, but the audience was totally with him. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they did it in the order that they presented it right. in, or they if not. not. But they did say something to him about, like, where you were, you know, like, your position. And he's like, I'll just do it whenever, you know, and very into, like, not the position, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he did well. Uh, Michael did well. Mm-hmm. Um, really, Andy Erickson was the one. I just don't go for her humor. It's, yeah. it's not my style. Um, it It's a little too meta or quirky odd, and mm-hmm. I, I just don't like that as much. But the, the other four, I thought, yeah. were pretty solid. <laughs> Another appearance. He really wants to, he really wants to make his name known in the blogging world. This is Kit in Houston. No, it's Yellow Boy. Also known as Yellow Boy. But Kitten is his legal name. It's his name at the vet because we weren't going to keep him when we originally found him. But here he stays. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I I mean, most of the season was spent mainly considering what drugs Norm MacDonald is on. I was going to ask you what your opinion was regarding the judges. Um, th- that was the change. Who did they have last year in place of no- instead of Russell Norm? Peters? Okay. I can't, I can't. It's it's apparently a token slot reserved for a Canadian judge. Okay. Um, Norm was very weird. Now this this panel of judges last year and this year I liked better than as much as I like Greg Giraldo as a comedian. Um. And I thought he was a good judge on the show, but he and Legero and whoever else was the year the years before, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's because they were younger or th- their sensibilities were just, they liked a, a much different kind they of... They were a little cop. edgier. Yeah, and it, it wasn't even like edgy, they, they liked the weird, they liked the in-your-face um, kind of comedian that I don't necessarily go for. They really advanced a lot of people I didn't. Um, yeah. I wouldn't. So these judges, who are, some people probably say they're too old now to touch, but... Um, <laughs> it's us. That's who we are, old and out of touch. That's who we are. I found them to be funny. I was, like, the first uh, episode of the Invitationals, I was like, wow, every single one of them was funny, and I laughed at all of them. The second round... There were, I want to say, two or three that I thought I put them in there. I put them in the top, but I don't even remember now. I mean, it's just so quick and everything happened so suddenly. But mm-hmm. yeah, um, I, I like in the past two years, I've been most surprised by Roseanne Barr. I thought, boy, I'm not really gonna care for her probably, and mm-hmm. I thought she'd kind of be maybe even nasty to the people. Right. And she loves everybody. She does, that's what I was going to say. The one thing I might say is, though she does give some good constructive criticism, mm-hmm. or they let us see when she gives right. it, um, she seems to like everything. Yeah. Right? Which was good about Norm. Um, it was kind of a joke for him that, can I give you a material kind of thing? Yeah. But, um, he, he tried to help them develop their sets, or... Tried to tell them to get out of comedy. Yeah, I mean, I kind of liked how he said with Andy Erickson. It's sort of like some of, like when he's like, "Yeah, that Kardashian joke. That's like, not stay you. In that stay other world. in the other world because basically, if you're going to be this character, you kind of have to stay with the character and not come mm. come down to earth briefly." <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, overall, you know, congratulations to Clayton English. I think he he mm. definitely 
deserved. I mean, he... he and was, plus, now that he didn't win, we can get a good rate on Michael Palachek to return to Jamestown. Sure. You know, it's cheaper to get the also rounds. <laughs> in, in, in fact, for sure. <laughs> so, speaking of also rounds, me. You can edit that out. Yeah, well, no, I mean, check out his vlog. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for, thanks for joining, uh, and we'll see you next time.